Just so you guys know, this is my least favorite map in this game now. It was USS, but USS is kind of tolerable. This one is just very inconsistent. It doesn't matter which way you go. Nothing is ever the same. You can't predict anything that goes on in this map. Except, let's see if this guy's going to come out here. What? What? <laughs> which one is real? Which one is fake? Um, A lot of the times, you can just run to the middle watch your crosses and just kind of wait for someone to run out there. It's usually what a lot of people like to do, including myself, including myself. I love to rush. I love to be aggressive. A lot of the times I will get shot from my left or right side. There's a lot of head glitches as well. If you, I don't know if you guys have noticed on this map, all of the barrels around um, every, almost every corner has a barrel on this map. So you're talking both sides of the spectrum. Um, people who like to use head glitches, be aware of those guys. But also when you're running through the map, and you see someone and you guys you know you're gonna get in a gunfight learn to use the head glitches and know where they are on the map and use those to your advantage so it goes both ways you know people like to use those but also use it but oh, let me see oh, hold on wait he stopped wait oh, <laughs> wait what's going on all right the other guy stopped shooting me he okay he went back to maybe reload because he had no bullets and then the other guy popped out we were to get him but uh, yeah, I was, I was, I was going to say, if we can get at least one of those two guys not expecting, we probably should have died. Um, I think the other guy might have been in the gunfight before, which is why he didn't have any bullets. But uh, that was that was something else right there. But again, going back to what I was saying about the head glitches, learning to you know use the map, utilize everything that it offers, not just allowing someone else to use those, but always you know running with a purpose, knowing where you're going and knowing what is around you at that point in time so that if and when you do get into a gunfight, um, you know, just have a, an awareness of what is around you. So in case you need to get to cover or wait long enough for them to keep shooting their gun while your teammate comes out and shoots them, uh, whatever it may be, learning to use and utilize the map for everything it offers, head glitches, um, cover, you know, especially on this map where you go anywhere on this map and they can still see you from the middle. It doesn't matter where it is. There's so many crisscrosses that people can see you. And you know, I, it happens to me all the time. I run out through the middle cause I like to rush. I like to be aggressive and I'll get shot from my left or right side a lot of the time. It's just you just don't know which way people are going to run because everything is constantly changing in this map and in search and destroy especially. But this map is definitely dangerous to rushers because of the potential of somebody going a certain way and then looking left or right and you can just get dropped. Um, like the head glitches in the middle of people like to go there where the stairs are at, waiting the cross, waiting for someone to run out like a monkey. You know, I do it all the time. I get killed all the time doing that. So it's just it's a variable that you have to be aware of and playing this map watching your corners checking it all times like this right here is a prime example of usually people would just run directly to the bomb never look right but you always have to check everything i did see him in the corner of my eye but i did slow down just to check to see if i saw any movements that's another thing that i like to do this map is also really dependent on how other people play uh, whether they do play more passive, whether they all shift to one side of the map, allowing you to get, you know, into the other side, or if they all kind of push to the center and kind of wait, that's where you find difficulty as a rusher here. Because if you do have eyes on one person or maybe even two people, and that third and fourth person are still at the middle of the map waiting, you know what I mean? There might be one on the left side, might be one middle left, one might be one in the middle middle, and then you know it just it it depends on how people play this map, which really makes it frustrating. And I, this might be one of the small maps in the game as far as not just distance wise but like the setup and how it kind of makes you seem like you're already in the middle because the middle is so big whereas like your spawn is so small that type of thing but I hope you guys enjoyed this flak breakdown today uh, make sure to drop a like on the video if you guys are brand new welcome to the channel make sure to sub for some more SD content and I'll catch you guys on the next one take care everybody